for the wedding? Why did you let this happen? Today was the day my dad would finally be married to a girl that was a barely legal fraction of his age. It was disturbing. From the look on James's face, I could tell that he needed to lose weight. I wondered if he was excited the wedding would take place in his backyard. Who's here right now? Mimi and Jamie and Kib, they're fucking setting up in the backyard. I get up, try to make some coffee. I hear rustling and bustling in the backyard and they're already getting at it. Jesus. Can we make well, sure there's no trash? Well, I told him to leave the trash because it just makes it feel more organic. No, it's pick like it decoration. Up. That's why we don't have to get confetti. I was thankful that Mama and famous Frankfurt Josh set up all the decorations in the backyard. They texted me if I was going to help them decorate, but I didn't respond because of me not wanting to. Thank you for setting this all up. Are you excited? Yeah, such short notice too. Yeah, it's would have been cool to have a little help, but have you looked into yeah. retroactive breastfeeding? For me? Yeah, since you're getting a new mom. I found myself vomiting in my mouth. Kib added a couple words of wisdom. You should suck on those titties, dude. You should. You need bones. You need, like, your bones to grow more. You've got something to grow. You fucking, you fucking freak. You have a calcium deficiency. Yeah. So how are you feeling, man? The big day's finally here. Feeling good. I just didn't realize that all of my, uh, dad's friends were my friends, which is kind of strange. You know, I expected to meet new people here. I met a witch. I'm not going to say that I had exact replicas of him after the breakup, you know, Voodoo dolls are very subjective, and I try to make mine so that I don't cause pain to people. Don't even know how my dad knows uh, the Valley folk. So back in the source-fed days, Elliot texts me, and he's like, what are you doing right now? And I was like, literally nothing. And he was like, do you want to rock and roll? Do you want to rock and roll is what I said. And yeah. um, <laughs> I never say no to a text like that. So the next thing I know, Elliot and I and Dean are at a strip club in Simi Valley. And um, we're just like... We're just riding the dragon. It out. was unbelievable. We're just riding the dragon together. One of those nights where it was like, and I knew too. I was like, I want to rock and roll tonight. And I was like, who do I know who will rock and roll? And uh, and I reached out to Steve. Yeah. And if there's one thing I know about Steve is that he's always down to like rock and roll. So uh, they hired me to DJ, and uh, I've done it a couple times in my life. Um, I wouldn't call myself a pro, but I would call myself an amateur about to go pro. Uh, I got one rule and one rule only, and that's yacht rock. One time. Uh, I actually invited Dean. Dean had nowhere to go for Thanksgiving, <laughs> and uh, and so my family's super welcoming, old school Mexican family, and so I invited Dean over. Super old Mexican. And uh, he comes over, and uh, as soon as he comes through the door, I give him. A, he gives me a hug, and I, he definitely had an, an erection. Yeah. He had a boner when I hugged him. I could feel it. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, Dean, you're out of control. What's with and then the he, D? He goes to hug my mom, and. Um, what happened then? You don't have to. So where can everybody find you guys on the internet? Patreon. Dean booked you for this, right? For the. Yeah. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So I was sent over here basically to uh, let you know that we're going to have to bring you down to a number two position. Don't worry about the flies. The flies are here before you were here, so they kind of have a seniority thing going on. Okay. I'm going to be running the ship, though. Do you have any other clothes you can maybe wear to the wedding? No, dude, this is my house. I get to dress how I want, man. My house, my rules. You know how it goes. Gets to dress how he wants, man. I am excited to be number two. I'll always be number two. Nothing will change that. Um, oh, if I'm his groomsman, I should change. I should change. Are you stoked? I am Are you stoked? I am stoked. Are you stoked? Yeah. I'm really sweaty right now, but I, I can throw a suit on if you want uh, to stand up there with you for like uh, men. What color? Yeah. I think gray would actually go good with the you know, navy. I, I want you to enjoy yourself today. So you just, I mean, just chill out with everybody else. Being up there is a lot of pressure and you don't want to worry about that. I want you to, you're my number two. So just hang out and like enjoy yourself. I guess he's, it was just, uh, he was too busy or something. James is getting married and I'm proud of you. And that's okay. We're not getting married. Steve. Who's getting married? Dean's here. getting married. Dean's getting married, and everybody's happy for him. I see on Steve's face, he's a little perturbed. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Am I gay? It's my like sexuality, it doesn't matter. It's when he shine your light down. Nobody shine shine your light you can down. tell your shine best your friend and your family down. you're gay. Steve, you're gay. Shine your gay light down yeah. on me. This was almost Nightmare 382. I keep a logbook of all my dreams. The only thing missing at this point was Todd, my high school bully, calling out from the hallway, I'm going to punch your throat and kill your family and suck your big ass. I miss Todd. However, it was finally time to get this wedding underway. Me. 
You're doing great. No, 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 no. Please stand for the bride. So right here, I guess I felt uh, strange. My dad marrying someone younger than me was fucking weird. But even I had to admit, she looked really happy. And that kind of made me happy too. Hello all. Welcome Hi. all. We're gathered here today under the life-giving sun where its warmth and light guided us to be here today. At this moment in time, the place where these two beautiful spirits first entered one another. What? Now in a display of love, turn to your neighbor, left and right, and, and kiss them on the lips. Certainly not. Okay. Awesome. They've prepared their own vows and will recite them to one another. Did you still want me to record this for, for your Instagram? Yes, please. From above. I remember when we first met, the first thing you said to me was, are you 18? <laughs> and then the second thing that you said to me is, what are you doing at 7-Eleven right now? <laughs> you, were, you were 18, but I loved you anyway. And then the third thing you said is, do you want to do some MDMA in the back of a car? And then you asked me if I had a car. So I just knew that you were going to be so fun. And I, I just feel like, even though I didn't know my dad growing up and I never had a dad, I feel like I'm marrying my father right now. And I, I just like to be part of your family is like the best thing that could ever happen to me. And, I just Aww. like, thank you so much. <laughs> Daddy loves you. When I first saw you, um, I thought to myself, uh, that's a cute boy. And then um, I thought, oh, that's not a boy. Uh, it's a cute girl. And uh, then uh, because of you, I've learned uh, things that I never thought I'd know. Um, uh, we talked about this before, didn't we, Steve? But now I know that it's thick with two C's and not a K. And sometimes it's three C's. And that uh, thick here is bad and thick there is good. <laughs> Um, I learned that uh, my first marriage was a miserable trap of slow, painful death. Uh, I, I learned that uh, joy is possible. Um, I learned that it's okay to be scared, and sometimes you just gotta jump anyway. Uh, so, toy um, today in front of uh, these people and uh, my boy and uh, Mimi, and uh, in my mind, Ot Ot and the Onibus. Um, I say that, uh, sure, I'll marry you. Rings are the, the symbol of eternity, forever and ever, which is what marriage is. It's the, it's the union that will bind you to this woman and, and keep you tied to her. Go ahead, Dean, put the ring on her finger. That's ever to me. <laughs> And forever and forever ever and forever. ever. <laughs> and now, the ring for your girl? We'll just use the can, two rings. We can, we can use this one. I now pronounce you penis and vagina. You may kiss one another. <laughs> oh my god! Or enter, whichever. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't lock my car. Where are you going? This is super embarrassing for her. Well, I'm trying to call her. She's, she's going. She's I'm getting out. She's a, oh, he's back. He's back. Stevie, call me an Uber. My car won't start. Just call an Uber. No. No. I'll call him an Uber. He can start a certificate, but he didn't sign. here. Dean, please just come back here. Come on. We, don't be like this, Dean. We, we already got all these chairs. It's like $20 for the whole hour. There's somebody in here. Hey. Toy? Can I talk to you for a sec? No. I'm gonna <laughs> I don't understand. I just feel like I, I don't even understand why I'm here anymore. I mean, I know my dad. 
and the sad part is this is uh, not too surprising. I just, I don't understand if it was all fake, then what's the point of that? Well, I don't think it was fake. I think he really does love you. I just, uh, I just think there's something wrong with him. And he just has to figure it out. I just feel like I'm trapped in my body and like this is the only thing I have to offer this whole fucking world is this envelope that I'm in. You know, the longer that we've been hanging out and ever since uh, I met you, I mean at first I, I had, you know, preconceived notions of who you were. And then over time, I realized that you're actually a very cool person. You're really cool and you're smart, you're funny. Um, you've got really cool hobbies and interests, and there's so many people out there for you better than my dad, because he shouldn't be with anybody. He's gross, and he's weird, and I knew this was coming, and I wish I would have said something sooner, but I'm sorry for him. I apologize for him, because you deserve better than my dad. You deserve a different dad. It's the nicest thing that anybody's ever said to me. But I got home. Ha 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 ha!